Hey, it's Green Rumor. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about the the foot switch situation for the Twin Reverb Amp. This is the 65 reissue blackface, um, but it applies to both the regular Twin Reverb older model 70s or 60s or this modern newer style. One of them takes RCA jacks for the two button foot switch and the other one takes a pretty much a stereo phono jack. And uh, a lot of people are trying to switch from the single uh, foot switch scenario with the two buttons to two separate buttons or two separate foot switches so they're trying to design foot switches and running into problems where they're getting the AC hum or they're getting a hum cycle through the uh, foot switch so the reverb doesn't need a foot switch it's 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 designed to you plug it into the vibrato reverb section of the amp and it plays and gives you reverb you, you dial reverb in with the knob the foot switch literally is designed to cut out the reverb so you you have the opportunity with the two button foot switch is to one switch on vibrato or switch off reverb okay so uh, right now it's always on reverb when I'm plugged in here as long as I've got it dialed up to reverb or I have to dial it down but if you want to leave a preset reverb then you just hit the button on the foot switch and that shuts off the reverb because reverb loop or circuit is open and the switch closes the loop that's why it needs a shielded cable so if you look at the design of the foot switch and I'll post an image here of of the back opened up foot double button foot switch and you'll see that the one on the right the button on the right or stomp switch on the right has a shielded cable and that's because in order to get the clean signal without reverb the amp sends the signal down the shielded cable and then back up to the amp completing the circuit without reverb because it it's designed to run reverb with it open so if you don't have a pl a, but a switch in at all or if you have the switch hit it's going to be open it it turns the switch off or turns the loop off the vibrato runs off of a switch so basically it needs to go through the switch from the tip of the of the phono jack or from RCA jack 1 back to ground and that switch creates that loop and that's turning on the vibrato with the switch but the other switch it needs to open the loop so in order for you not to have reverb you need a shielded complete loop com complete connection and that will allow for the signal to return to the amp without it going through the reverb circuit so and then when you want to use reverb you hit the switch that opens the loop and it no longer uses the loop and it now has reverb just like when you don't have a switch plugged in at all so yeah you look around on the internet and people are talking about you know the hum and why you know what are they doing wrong and there's explanations but nobody actually tells you that reverb works without the switch so the switch is there to eliminate the reverb so that's why the signal goes through the switch uh, and and eliminates reverb so you'll have hum the full time if you if you don't have a shielded cable it's going to be going through a non-shielded cable 
so the audio signal is not protected and you're going to pick up all kinds of interference from transformers and whatever around you and that creates all this hum so uh, using this Mesa Boogie single switch um, it basically closes the loop because I'm, I'm using a mono cable you know and that's that's a regular guitar cable so it has a tip and a sleeve there's not a tip a ring and a sleeve so where there would be a ring and a sleeve um, and then you switch it that would close the loop and then st and so since it's just short here it's not going out into the world and back again like to a switch it automatically closes the loop so when I run this and the single button Mesa Boogie which is just a single switch and plug it in I get a connection between the tip and the and the shield and the um, I mean in the sleeve which goes to ground so I'm grounding that and turning on the vibrato okay but but reverb is off with this plugged in there's no ability to run reverb because it's a closed loop right here between what would be the ri the ring and the sleeve because there is no ring and sleeve it just closes the connection between those two contact points so so yeah that's what's confusing about this whole thing is is the fact that it's a reverse switch in effect in effect you're not switching on reverb you're switching off reverb so all right well hopefully that helps